हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द ट्रिपल फाइव टाइमर आज मोनोस्टेबल मल्टी वाइब्रेट लेट्स बिगिन ए मल्टी वाइब्रेटर ऑपरेट्स बिटवीन टू पॉसिबल स्टेट्स हियर दैट नेम इंडिकेट्स मोनोस्टेबल मल्टी वाइब्रेटर मीन्स वन स्टेट इज स्टेबल सो इन केस ऑफ मोनोस्टेबल मोड ऑफ मल्टी वाइब्रेशन वन ऑफ द टू स्टेट्स मल्टी वाइब्रेटर हैविंग टू स्टेट्स सो आउट ऑफ दिस टू स्टेट्स वन ऑफ दैट टू स्टेट्स वन इज कंसिडर्ड ट्रांसियंट एंड अदर वन इज स्टेबल Out of that two states, one is transient, and another one is stable. That's why it is called monostable multivibrator. In that of uh, multi monostable multivibrator, when we apply a trigger input, a pulse is produced. Are the output and returns back to the stable state after a particular time interval. The duration of time for which the pulse is high will depend upon the timing circuit that comprises of a resistor and a capacitor. Here we add resistor and capacitor to that of triple five timer IC in order to convert that triple five timer IC to monostable multi vibrator. therefore due to that reason as we apply a trigger input it is known as one shot multi vibrator monostable multi vibrator in another words in another word we say it as one shot multi vibrator in the circuit of monostable multi vibrator by taking triple five timer ic this is a triple five timer ic of pin configuration eight pin configuration one ground two trigger three output four reset five control six threshold seven discharge eight power the monostable mode of multi vibration is achieved by adding वन रेजिस्टर एंड वन कैपेसिटर टू दैट ऑफ ट्रिपल फाइव टाइमर आई सी हियर पीन वन इज डायरेक्टली ग्राउंडेड पावर भी सी सी इज सप्लाइड थ्रू दैट ऑफ पीन एट विथ हुईज पीन फोर इज shorted to avoid accidental reset of the circuit pin number 4 is connected to that of power supply end pin number 6 and 7 is shorted and connected to ground through the capacitor c the combination is also joined to the power supply power supply terminal uh, to that of uh, resistor having resistance r that combination is joined to that of r supply through that of resistance r the pin 5 is grounded through a bypass capacitor having that of capacitance 0.01 microfarad in order to filter the noise it is important to note that the circuit requires 
an external trigger input for its operation. But in case of unstable multi vibrator, we can't use trigger. But in case of monostable multi vibrator, we use trigger. Trigger is essential. The trigger input is given at the trigger terminal by pin number two, and the output of that of oscillation is available at that of pin number three terminal. This is all about the circuitry of triple five timer as. monostable multi vibrator next operation of that monostable multi vibrator by taking triple five timer ic operation first the output is low and stable initially how the output is low and stable initially initially when uh, there will be no such trigger input trigger input is absent so that uh, flip flop is a reset condition this allows the discharge transistor to go to saturation the capacitor c is connected to that of open collector of the transistor so it is uh, provided with discharge path hence the capacitor discharges completely the output of uh, pin number 3 will be low for that reason we say output is low and stable initially when we get high output further output goes high when the trigger becomes less than that particular value that is one third of that of power supply with the threshold voltage greater than this 2 by 3 vcc the output becomes again low until the occurrence of next trigger pulse first output is low then it goes high when we apply the trigger that is less than that particular potential again threshold voltage greater than that value and it will become low until unless we apply next trigger pulse therefore the time for which the output remains high is the charging time of the capacitor charging time of the capacitor at which the time period at at which the output is high so the charging time of capacitor depends upon the time constant rc and uh, the capacitor charges exponentially towards vcc in mathematically We write it. What will be the time period of that oscillation? Let me consider the voltage. Therefore, voltage across the capacitor C that charging through. A resistor having resistance R at any instant of time, at any instant t, is given by V C voltage at capacitor. It is VCC of one minus e to the power minus t by RC.
if we, we choose capital T with the time taken by the capacitor to charge charging of a capacitor from 0 to 2 by 3 VCC that of case when T small t is equal to capital T then voltage at capacitor will be 2 by 3 of VCC so that equation number 1 is written as in place of VC we write 2 by 3 VCC 2 by 3 VCC is equal to VCC 1 minus e to the power minus this is capital D divided by RC VCC VCC cancel out or 2 by 3 is equal to 1 minus e to the power minus t by rc or e to the power minus t by rc is equal to 1 by 3 here 1 minus 2 by 3 that is 1 by 3 or uh, t we obtain minus rc log of 1 by 3 base e. so log of 1 by 3 base e. negative sign when multiplied it will be rc log 3 base e. value of log 3 or time period t is equal to 1.0986 rc this is the time period of oscillation so the frequency frequency f 1 by time period which when that is 1 divided by 1.0986 rc equation number 3 so when we apply the trigger then what we achieve on that of output section let me show it by the graph let us show this graph when we apply the trigger this is the trigger at capacitor This is the voltage across capacitor. It is two by three VCC. So the output section we have Here zero, one. This is the time period. It is V out. Voltage at output. When trigger inputted to that of 
potential across the capacitor then at output we find that kind of signal. The state of output is initially low, it becomes high during the charging of that capacitor for the particular time duration that is 1.0986 RC. Again it goes low and stable until the further trigger input. So, it is understood that the width of that of pulse can be determined by knowing the value of R and C. Now, the applications of monostable multi vibrator taking triple five timer IC. It uses for frequency divider, pulse width modulator, linear ramp generator, relay switching circuit, missing pulse detector. These are various kinds of applications of monostable multi vibrator. So, here with the help of this video lecture, we understand how we get monostable multi vibrator by taking triple five timer IC. So, what is monostable multi vibrator? Again, we call it as one set multi vibrator for that purpose. Circuitry of monostable multi vibrator taking triple five timer IC. Just we add one register and one capacitor. Operation next time period of oscillation frequency. Here that is a graph we show in that of graph as a trigger potential at capacitor and output states and applications. So, with this useful and informative notes let me wind up this session. Thank you.